Hello, everyone, and welcome to New Pantheon Academia. I'm your host, fun gay uncle and professional hobbit, Stephen Pope, and this is Saving Throw Show's anime-inspired game powered by Overarms, available now at drivethroughrpg.com. Uh, let's go ahead and meet our table, and thank you, DJ Regler, for the resub. Starting with the incomparable uh, battler for beauty and justice, Aki. Oh, gosh. Hi, everyone. I am Aki. I play Manny Brown, uh, whose uh, divinity is Ma'at, the Egyptian goddess of truth, justice, and harmony. And uh, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just sitting here trying to Keep a crown from getting stolen. Two crowns from being stolen. But I still need to I still need to buy the the other two uh, uh, pieces for the other two members of our. There's a lot on my plate right now. There's a lot on your plate, and I'm also you have lost. midterms. And midterms. Uh, oh, do I though? Do I'll I? Do I have midterms? I feel like I I'm can. Just gonna, I'm just going to put that in my my little sack over here for later. You're welcome. Next up, she inherited a bathhouse full of beautiful young, young geisha men. It's Mika. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Thank you. I'd like to thank the Academy. Um, <laughs> I'm Can you Mika. tell I've been going through the 90s <laughs> anime list lately? Yeah. Uh, I'm Ari Mika. I am um, I'm Dolly Wingrove in this RPG. She is the lovable theater kid who's finally getting a date with her crush. Oh, my gosh. Can't believe it. It's been a long, a long winding road to hear. Uh, her divinity is been Persephone. A long road. Thank you, thank you, Aki. <laughs> her divinity is Persephone. I can't speak today. Uh, goddess of the underworld and goddess of vegetation. In spring, springtime. I love it. And finally, last but not least, they're the only thing standing between us and rule by Pink Aliens. It's Eric. Hi. Uh, do not put your faith in me. I will fold like a cheap card table when it comes to alien invasion. Hi, uh, I, I'm Eric, and I am playing Lennox Thatcher, uh, former captain of the football team and now just kind of man about campus, uh, who is currently uh, has the, the, the powers of Ninkasi, the Sumerian goddess of, of fear with inside of him. <laughs> nice. Uh, you might notice we are short someone today. Yes, sadly, Critical Bard Omega Jones is under the weather. Uh, so hit them up on Twitter. Send them all the good vibes. It's a good day to do that. Send someone good vibes. Send it to them. They need it. Uh, but hey, thank you all for tuning in. And for everyone watching us on YouTube or listening to us as a podcast, thank you so much for tuning in. Do us a solid. Leave us a like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell icon, leave a review on iTunes. I don't know. Do the whole nine yards. It helps the show so much, and it really keeps the channel going as a whole. But if you're watching us live, you can help the channel out in real time. Your tips not only help the players here, it helps keep our – it literally helps our show keep going. Uh, you can help unlock rewards ranging from us giving our hottest anime tips – I have one on Evangelion that's going to make many people angry, uh, to a brand new power that I wrote that you can incorporate into your own Overarms campaign. For $15, get your own shout-out in the North Point Academator. Oh, sorry. For $15, get your own shout-out from the North Point Administrator, who is a... Uh, there's someone. Their character. Their character in their own right. And for $20, I'll draw from the Deck of Heroes. Our show is heavily inspired by games such as Persona and the anime JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And tarot cards play a huge role in that, and they play a huge role here. So help have a major impact on the game. 20 bucks, keep the show, show afloat, and unlock stuff for everyone's amusement. There's no downside here. Also, you can now join our Patreon and be part of the Saving Throw Exploration Society. Your support comes with many rewards like special pins, swag, merch discounts, and one-page adventures that you can run and like a great little one-shot incorporate into your own campaign. It's great. So be a part of the society. Join up today. Okay, I have one more thing before we finally get started. I am running out of breath. We want got to give a shout out to our friends over at Die Hard Dice. You can save ten percent off your order using Natural Twenty at checkout. Use command dh dh dice in chat for links and info. Uh, Aki is showing them off. They are gorgeous. 
Wow. So gorgeous. Yes, but what about the dice? We know Aki's gorgeous. Uh, <laughs> yes, there's something nice about the dice for a change. <laughs> Mika, I just came to have a good time, and I'm honestly feeling so attacked right now. <laughs> And hey, one more thing before we get started. If you subscribe, you don't get rerolls for the table. You get immortalized in game as a student at North Point Academy or a professor if I need one. Don't worry about it. So look forward to that. And with that out of the way, we can finally get started with this new episode of New Pantheon Academia. It is a beautiful spring day at North Point Academy. Oregon is at its most beautiful right now. The snow has melted, the grass is lush, the flowers are in bloom, pollen is terrible, but it's so pretty right now. Everything is just picturesque. And we're gonna start with Lenny. Because Lenny, right now, you would be getting ready for, well, the playoff games for the football team, but you stepped down. Mm -hmm. So as the school day comes to a close, what is Lenny doing? Um, I think just like, uh, cause he still has a lot of friends on the team. I think like he gets out of class with like uh, a couple of buddies from the team and they all start heading towards uh, the gym and he's like following them. And then they go, then they enter. And then he like, like, uh, like one of them's like, Oh, see you later. He's like, Oh yeah. Um, cool. And he just kind of like just like wanders back through campus, like aimlessly, like not sure what to do with his time right now. Hmm. He's kind of lost a lot of himself since he quit football, hasn't he? Yeah, it was kind of like his identity. Yeah. So how does he respond when he sees Nanako stomping towards him? Uh wearing a trench coat that looks a little too big on her and with fire in her eyes. Uh, hey, uh, how's it going? Yo, she shouts as she uh, grabs you by the collar and pulls you down huh? to eye level. <laughs> Guess what, Thatcher? Um, uh, hold on. Uh, I'm not good at these. Um... No, I'm going I'm to need more info first. Okay, here's the info. The train's left at the same time. Dot, dot, dot. No. Did I get it? Okay. No. We're going on a date. Oh. Yeah, that's right, Thatcher. Okay. I've had a thing for you since the day we met. Oh, sick. Uh, okay, when? Now. Ah, uh, all right. I got like she begins to drag you, and I need a strength. I need a strength roll from you. Okay, uh, we'll see about one of those. Um, two. Okay, yeah. Um, you lose your footing, and you are quite literally being dragged by this five foot nothing Japanese girl who seems to be made out of pure muscle right now. You're like heck of strong. You have no idea, little boy. As she drags you off, we cut over to the drama department. Dahlia, you guys are setting up for the big production. This semester, it's Into the Woods, the Sondheim classic. This is going to be perfect, but we have to make sure we get the woods correct, and then we can flip the set so then it becomes the cabin. Um, We're going to have to do a two-story set because... Obviously, Rapunzel, we have to have her hair coming down in that one scene. <sighs> okay. Um, standing next to you is uh, your... I don't want to use the word toady to describe them. But you are jo joined by your uh, Galana resident at... God, I know I have his name here. I lost his name. Zach. Zach. Yes. Uh, chubby, dark-haired, and forced to join the club by not by Nanako. Uh, forced to join the school school safety society by Nanako herself. Uh, he nods a few times. Uh, okay. Um, 
Dahlia, we have $45 for this set. Uh, yeah, um, we can make that work. We can make that work. Um, a true artist can find what they need in anything. Oh, God. But how are we going to get the castle done? Uh, cardboard? I guess, yeah, cardboard, and we can see what paints we have left over in the back. Uh, why did we do Beauty and the Beast last semester? I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Wait, do we have some of the set pieces for that? Because we could technically reuse those. I was just hoping that we could get one of the school, like, awards this season. But I don't know if we will. Mm, it's a long shot. Um, club budgeting is such a drag. As he mumbles, uh, you're approached by a very sharp-dressed woman. Uh, you guess she's in her early 30s, and you actually saw her last week when you were at the water park. It's uh, Miss uh, Shohi Wang, uh, the new mythology teacher at North Point Academy. Oh, hi, Mrs. Wang. How are you? It's great to see you on school grounds. Uh, it's lovely to see you too, Dahlia. And oh, uh, Zachary, correct? Um, yeah, hi. Hmm. Mm. Uh, Dahlia, could I have a word with you real quick? Oh, yeah, of course. Um, <laughs> I'll be right back, Zach. I'm definitely not in trouble for anything. Oh, okay. He gives a little wave as uh, Mrs. Wang leaves you away. Leaves you away. <sighs> so, um, I'm glad I could find you on campus. I've actually been looking for you for a moment now. Oh, for whatever for. She looks around the back of the auditorium. You're surrounded by the discarded set from Avenue Q a few years ago. Uh, that off-brand Heathers that you guys didn't really have the rights for, but you tried to do it anyway. It's an underground art piece. <clears throat> oh, it's about Orpheus. We're alone. Don't worry. They can't hear us. What? <laughs> what? Wait, you're not talking to me about my actions at the water park? I am so sorry, by the way. Um, Go ahead and roll me charisma real quick. <laughs> We're looking for a three. Okay. Oh, gosh. Come on, Dahlia. Don't let me down. I got a seven. Okay. okay. Um, she kind of cocks her head. She's a little confused. Uh, apparently, even though you were, for lack of a better term, schnockered at the oh. water park, she didn't seem to notice. Or she didn't notice, she just doesn't seem to care. Uh, but anyway, um, Orpheus, yes. Orpheus, my pet rabbit, who I sent back to live with my parents. Right? Is that the Orpheus you're talking about? Sure, we can go with that one. Okay, yeah, let's talk about that. Sure. I can bring him back. Oh, so you can call my okay. You must. Okay, you're you're in on it. Got it. You can bring Orpheus back. What do you mean? Because he was a crow. I'm aware he was a crow, and I'm also aware that he was not like the other crows. No, he was. He was kind. And he was friendly. And he, he was helped special. us. He was special. <laughs> My poor thing. Listen. I can bring him back. Mm -hmm. We can bring him back. And How? I know... <sighs> Doctor... Are you familiar with Dr. Ash? Oh, yeah. I fought him once. I beat him. Uh, mean left hook, right? I actually don't remember. <laughs> uh, what always got me was the roundhouse kicks. For a man in that much stuffiness, you don't expect him to be that good at it, but uh, we used to spar a lot. Dr. Ash has a relic. If you can get me the relic, we can bring back your Orpheus. What's a relic? Uh, sorry. 
Is it a, ch it's not a chess piece. I know that much. Uh, mm. Oh, it's chess. Huh. Interesting. I meant checkers. <laughs> well, there's a lot of hopping. <laughs> oh, I see. Um, what relic? What what is a relic? What are what do you need? What is this? Sometimes divinity can rub off on objects. Okay. For example, she reaches into her breast pocket and she produces a small red stone that is uh, glowing, and you can actually see heat radiating off of it. I got this when I fought Ifrit when I was your age. That was a long time ago. <laughs> <sighs> you hit 36 and everything just goes downhill. <laughs> Sorry. Um... It's fine. It was a long time ago. We had AOL and Sit Messenger back then. AOL. <laughs> Um, yes. When the power of divinity finds itself inside an object or basically the background radiation of a divinity affects an object, mm -hmm. that creates a relic. Relics can do things that people like us can do, but not easily. Okay. Dr. Ash has a Dr. Ash has a relic that can bring about well it can summon crows. Well, whose relic is it? What god? <sighs> Bastet. Is that an that's an Egyptian god, right? Cat-headed. Ooh, how did he get it? Well, when we got our divinity back in the day, in the olden days, we, he, to be exact, I'm not gonna take responsibility for something I didn't do. We had, he had a little fit of irresponsibility. I'm sure you know he can give and take away divinities, right? Well, yeah, but we figured that one out. Mm -hmm. Well, give that power to a 17-year-old boy. Watch what happens. You mean he was a bad guy? I don't like that term. He wasn't a bad guy. He was just irresponsible with it. Okay, um, well, when someone does do something bad, you can't just, like, explain it away as your responsibility. They have to own up to it, and you can come back from that and be a good person. But we shouldn't explain away something bad as being irresponsible. I agree. But Ash has been at this for a very long time. And I dare say, minus, well, a major screw-up. He tries very hard to be a good person. Hmm. So how am I supposed to get this relic from Ash and get it to you to get Orpheus back? I tried asking for it, but he insists it should never leave his office. But what but... is it? <laughs> Eager little thing, aren't you? It's a deck of cards. Well, I can just ask him if I can borrow it. <laughs> I, I'll tell him I just got really into, uh, or we're doing. <gasps> oh, I can get I can get Lenny in on it, and we can say we're gonna do a poker night, and we need to borrow cards because we don't have the budget. Oh no, can we borrow his cards. There's an idea. All right, cool. Hmm. Um, when do you need this by? Well, when do you want your friend back? Right now. 
then I'm sooner the better. All right. Um, gosh. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm going to go find Lenny and Manny and Kwame, and we are going to get this deck of cards for you. We've beat Dr. Ash before. We can beat him again. Well, we don't, we don't want to, but if it comes to that. Let's not beat up an old man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. Uh, all right, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll come by your classroom later with the deck of cards in. Sounds good. And then Dahlia is going to uh, leave. She, <laughs> she looks over and sees that Zach is like handling the cardboard. He is trying so hard. He's trying. He's trying. But it's she, a lot of hot glue. There's a lot of cardboard folding she up doesn't, on top of them. She doesn't think she could do any better being over there yelling. So she's just going to leave and try to find Manny and Lenny and Kwame. <laughs> okay. Um, as you leave, uh, you hear a loud squeak as someone ducks behind a garbage can in front of you. Um, hi. Peering out from behind the garbage can is Nanako. Her hair is frayed and frizzled, and it looks like she hasn't slept in a while. In fact, it kind of gives you warm, fuzzy memories of Iris. Hi, Nanako. <gasps> Are you okay? What's you never come to the theater room? What are you doing? I know, I know. I need somewhere quiet. Why? She walks over to you and she clutches your arm. You don't understand. I'm gonna like Things. smooth her hair down. <laughs> you don't understand. Things are bad. Okay. Um, what went wrong and what Everything. safety rules were broken? Got it. All okay. The safety rules. Everyone. No one is safe. What? D okay, let's. Uh, we're gonna walk and talk. Is that okay? I will protect you. Okay, but we need to walk slow. Eighty-five percent of tripping happens when you walk. Yes, but with four pairs of legs, you can half that. So it's really only gonna be what forty-two point five. With four pairs of legs, you double your chances of tripping. No, no, no. I'm gonna trip, look, and then a spike what? is gonna go no. straight through my skull. What's I'm gonna spiking? lobotomize myself. Spike. Oh my no, just, myself. trust me, Nanako. We're going to go find Lenny and Manny and Kwame and everything will be okay. We'll figure a way to fix this. That's what you think. And that's what she said. She points out towards the quad where you see another Nanako. She uh, is staring directly into the sun. Quick, tell me what the first rule of safety squad is right now. Always be safe and wash your hands. Okay, so you're the real Nanako. But who is that? I don't know. Well, well, did she beat you up? No! She's just standing there. Menacingly. Did you beat yourself up? Every day of my life. Oh my gosh. Well, okay, let's go confront this woman. As you go to confront her... We cut away to the cafeteria. Manny. Manny, you have a lot of responsibility on your plate. And it's possibly the most responsibility you've ever had. During the meeting, right down the middle, the votes went. You had Team Piotr who want to make prom underwater themed. And you have Team Ben who want to make it 90s theme. And there's only one vote that matters, and it's yours. You are the deciding vote, but sadly, Club had to wrap because Piotr had to go to ballet practice. So everything is on hold. And you are now sitting in the cafeteria with Ben Pendleton, the scrawny, energetic, uh, blonde nerd, and Nanako Majima, who looks a little tired, but fine. I don't understand how it's possible that we ended up stuck with two bad ideas. Okay, how is it a bad idea? The 90s are perfect. Like, we could do, like, uh, I don't know, flannel tuxedos or something. And, like, uh, everyone... Groves? How's oh, that gross? 
I don't want to like be a fashion disaster at my prom. Well, I mean, it's not a fashion disaster if you do it intentionally. Then it's more of a fashion catastrophe. I don't like the idea of that either. Well, I just and underwater is just so overdone. Like everybody does one or either. Like like well, how how did this happen? How? Well, I'll tell you how it happened. We basically narrowed it down from 15 terrible ideas to two mediocre ideas. But come on, my idea is the <laughs> out of the two mediocre ideas, mine's the least mediocre. Nautico, am I right? Nautico shakes her head. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um Nautico, yeah, are they you both, okay? You know, I've been having the weirdest day. Like, have you ever had one of those days where you just wake up and you're kind of like on edge the whole day? No. No? No. Okay, just me. Cool. No, I don't think it's just you. It's just that it's something I don't experience. I wish I feel, I feel, like yours, Manny. I feel like, you know, Dahlia and Lenny definitely could relate to waking up on edge. Lenny. <sighs> I think yeah, that... I... Hmm? Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I am just out of it today. Do you need coffee? Uh, I already tried one of those energy drink things. I made it about halfway through, and I had to throw it out. I was They're so gross, though. They taste terrible. Like, Why do boys like it? Ben not shrugs. just boys. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's because uh, Kwame's sick. Kwame's sick? Yeah, he's under the weather. I brought him some soup earlier. Oh, no. Did you wear a mask? Of course I wore a mask. And you I stayed outside hands? his room. Okay. I don't it's know. It's me. I know. I know it's you. But sometimes people forget to do the basic safety measures. Uh, question, Ben says, uh, holding up a finger. Um, our glove. Uh, okay. I, I get the washing your hands thing. I get that. I, I'm not one of those guys. I, I do have to know masks for People with colds? Like, I, I thought they had to wear the mask. Do I have to wear the mask, too? Both of you should wear masks. It it, it 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 not only protects you from other people, it protects other people from you. Gross. Good to know. Oh, what if you sneeze in it, though? And then you just got, like, snot all over it? And you got, like, well, snot, then you like... take it off, you blow your nose, and then you put a new one on if you make it gross. Nanako gives Ben a cocked eyebrow that just speaks volumes of what she thinks of most men. <laughs> just like, you don't have to live with snot on your face. I mean, I know some people do, but you don't have to. Yeah, do, do I? I hope I don't. No, no you don't. Anyways, I'm sorry that Kwame's not feeling good, and I'm sorry that you aren't feeling so hot either. Maybe, <laughs> Maybe you should... Go to the nurse's office and get a note for the rest of the day. Maybe <sighs> take a lie down. I might. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. I feel, like, I feel like I'm all over the place today. Also not something I can relate to. That's a little harder to believe. I mean, just because I have a lot of responsibility doesn't mean I'm feeling overwhelmed by any of it. That being said, I, I think I'm going to have... Listen, Ben, you and Pietro, you like to bring me into the middle of your little feuds far too often for my liking. And like I said, I'm not wild about either idea. Maybe maybe this is something you should bring students into. Maybe uh, they have maybe they have something to say about it. But then we I'm have to not organize like, like a whole vote thing. I believe that voting is uh the 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 best way for people to make them their voices heard um the fact that we as the pep squad take so much onus on ourselves to make all the decisions for the school is just anyways um unless of course i'm guessing we got our ideas from the student body or was that just our own egos as we came up with the ideas well if you're gonna make it sound like that yes it, it was us all kind of just throwing that's we were spitballing ideas happen 
Sometimes they suck. Sometimes you end up with 90s and underwater. And I'd like to point out real quick that that movie with the girl who, you know, does the eye thing and then everyone's on fire, like, that was underwater themed. So What if we do Alice in Wonderland? Alice in Wonderland? Or Through the Looking Glass. Yeah. That could be fun. I mean, we are the North Point rabbits. We could do, like... A fun sort of like Victorian, was it Victorian era? I forget when Alice in Wonderland actually takes place. I don't think it was uh, Victorian, but it was, was it Edwardian? I don't remember. History's I hard. I don't know the difference. It's fashion. Fashion is the difference. I'm in the anime club, Manny. I don't know fashion. I don't know. But I could join the fashion club. Ooh. That's what I'm doing next, next semester. Don't you have enough extracurriculars, Ben? Don't you have, have to have like five. take a scooter to get to each of your clubs? You talk about being all over the place. You do too much, my friend. I have no idea what you're talking about. As he says that, his uh, watch begins to beep. Speak of the devil. Okay, yeah, I got to head over to the anime club. I'll catch you guys later, okay? okay? He picks up his helmet and points at you, Manny. We need a vote. We need a vote. Vote 90s. <sighs> There is no justice in this world. <laughs> As he gets up and leaves, Nanako follows. And soon, Nanako returns with a Lenny, basically literally dragged behind her. But, but you were going to go to bed. What? What's going yeah. on? You were talking gonna... to me? I, 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 I am. You want to start something? Oh my, oh my gosh, no. Are you okay, Nanako? You seemed really tired before, and now you seem very angry. What's going on? Tired? Yeah. I know She's been, tired. like, really aggressive. Like, very that's, aggressive. That's not like you, Nanako. Are you okay? I'm better than okay. I told, I told Thatcher that he's going to marry me one day. Oh, that seems... That seems like a lot, a very large leap from just telling him that you liked him, which yeah. I believe is where we started. Um, yeah, I tried to explain it's a two-way street, and I'm not even sure at this point in my life if marriage is uh, for me or whatever. Um, you're, you're 17. You're not supposed to know that kind of thing yet. Yeah, uh, she threw me into a trash can when I said that. So. Oh, Nanako, do, do you do you do you want some tea? Like some chamomile or or something. Out of nowhere, she uh, dons these pointed sunglasses and a sucker. Tea is for old folks. Tea is for people who maybe need to calm down just a little, little, little bit. Can I? Can I? In my brain, in my brain space, man is going. No, no, nothing about this seems right. I literally just saw Nanako. Maat, what's up with this? What what's going on? This is. Weird. I need to understand what's happening. Okay. Uh, go ahead and give me, uh, spend an AP point and roll me intelligence power. Show. Let me do that. This is not that difficult, so we're just going to make it a six. I mean, listen. <laughs> I rolled two sixes. I got a critical success. Oh, dang! <laughs> okay, so on a crit, um, this is part of Nanako. Oh, sorry, I lied. I did not get a critical success. I got, I got, but my, my roll was very nice. It was a six and a nine, so. Nice. It was nice. Uh, so instead, it's a 15. Yeah, that was still very good, and it already spilled the beans. So, yes. You can tell that this very angry, very violent, and uh, very sure of herself, Nanako, is Nanako, or at least part of her, but it's not Nanako. I've been feeling a little all over the place lately. Oh, no. Nanako, can you sit here for just a second, please? Mm. I'll bring him. I'll bring him right back. Oh, I'll give you time I to think about. 
give you time to think about like the wedding dress or whatever. And also to consider all those things I said about consent. I don't, I'm not wearing a dress. We're going to get married on the road. Gonna sure. Find, gonna I'll give be my hog and we're just going to yeah. ride okay. down. Okay. And we're going. Okay, Lenny. So I should tell you that like minutes before you walked in with her, I saw Nanako walk out of here with Ben. And that Nanako was. Oh, super, I'm not jealous of Ben. No, 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 no. Super, <laughs> super tired and a little bit out of it. And then you walk in with this Nanako that's like super energetic and aggressive. I think Nanako has been split into pieces, at least two. Huh. One very aggressive piece and one very exhausted piece. Uh, your Nanako is only part of who Nanako really is. And I have a feeling that when we put all of Nanako back together, she's going to be so embarrassed about how this all went down with you, because I don't think that's how she wanted this to happen. Yeah, I imagine like whatever uh, preconceived notions she had in her head about this moment uh, differed significantly from how it's all playing out. As far as I could tell, I don't think she ever planned on telling you. Yeah, is I got that impression healthy, too. But um, yeah, I, I guess I should tell you that I've kind of known for a little while that Nanako has a thing for you. Um, so like, oh yeah, I mean. It was like hecka obvious or whatever. Oh, okay. Cool. So you were aware. Great. Oh, yeah. Uh, cool. Like, cool. like, I don't want to be like, I'm not trying to like talk myself up or whatever, but it's like, like, honestly, it's like half the campus. You're, you're, you're not wrong. I mean, you're, you're a great specimen of a guy. Um, but, um, yeah, just, I, I guess I don't need to tell you. To like, you know, once we figure out what the hell is going on here, um, to, to not be a jerk about it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I totally get, though, that she's like really overdoing it right now. And it's kind of kind of scary that that's a side of her. Well, Maybe that's in, a side of everybody, though. I imagine, yeah. Uh, we as humans are incredibly complex, filled with all kinds of emotions. And that, uh, you know, inherently, like, uh, good, evil, and everything in between is within us at any point. It's just our, our our choices that matter. Oh my God, Lily, you're so smart. And there's another Nanako. This one clinging to your arm, Lenny. She um, is bleached blonde. Like her hair is destroyed after this. You just know it. And she has way too much makeup on and she looks like she's having a blast and oh my god drinking 55 thank you so much for that holy tip. crap thank, thank you. you thank you <laughs> so yes she comes bounding up and she grabs your arm lenny and she's just cuddling into your shoulder huh. again i guess because you're not the same nanako i can have a we can talk again about uh touching and consent uh so <laughs> oh my god i didn't know boys could do that that's amazing oh, yeah. yeah we are Thank capable you. of complex emotions <laughs> despite what uh you know certain uh individuals might uh show <laughs> oh, okay nanako why don't you go sit over there with yourself for just a moment you point over to the angry nanako she has recently been joined by rip mika and shidare ake who uh, oh, have no. apparently accepted oh. her as their new queen. Oh, God. Of course yeah. they have. <laughs> uh, they have Simi David 95 from the art club uh, bringing them drinks, and DJ Regular is uh, currently apparently doing their math homework or something. It, it, it looked like a whole operation has sprung up when you guys weren't looking. Um, you know, honestly, like, we fought the Phantom Queen, and, like, I've stared into uh, Oblivion and seen all time simultaneously in every possible outcome. But um, going over there and like talking to those three is like too scary for me. That's a lot. That's, that's a whole lot. Um, um, but yeah, can, can you go sit over there with yourself for a second? Um, maybe get yourself a, a bubble tea or something. I don't know. Uh, I guess uh, whatever. So uh, you can see the, the, the thing that, happening here yes not so far behind is 
not far behind uh, this Nanako is Dahlia with another Nanako. Oh God, how many of them are there? Oh. Wait, you guys are, oh no. Oh yeah, see, it's it's, it's funny. Uh, you probably aren't aware. Uh, apparently Nanako is split into several pieces. No, we're aware because I found this Nanako in drama. Don't and look at me. Don't look and at me. And I think I got the scared Nanako and there's a Nanako out in the quad that's staring at the sun. Oh, oh that's she, really bad. Did well, you she, did you retrieve her? Uh, yes, we we, we 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry for talking. Uh we did. We did. And then she saw Lenny and started calling him Len Len. Oh, I don't know what that means. You do know what that means. Um uh, a, a couple of your of yourselves have, have expressed uh, robust outward um, affect, uh, affection towards Lenny, um, and and he knows he knows now. I feel like it's important that you know that Nanny, he knows. Nanny, I want you to give me a charisma roll, and we're looking for a ten. Oh God, that's not happening. I'd have to roll max on my die, and nope, make no it happen. Way. It could happen. We do. Uh, thanks to our wonderful chat, we have unlocked uh, several tiers, and we do have rerolls now. So there are four rerolls on the yeah. table. I, I'm not going to use a reroll for this, uh, mostly because it's just too hilarious. I rolled a two. Oh. So there's screaming, oh, God. and then there's screaming. Oh, oh goodness! And she oh. proceeds to scream so loud that the camera has to pull back. To the whole of the earth, where you see a little cheapy nautical mouth screaming over the United States as she falls down, her soul leaving her body. Uh, Seamath Perinkoff, Cho Fixani, Nemesar, and DJ Who, all from the uh, uh, circus club, all stop what all stop their tumbling activities and just look over at the four of you. And See, it could have been worse. Good job, Nanako. Oh, that'll that'll be great for the upcoming the auditions. That'll be great auditions. for Into the Woods. Auditions. Yes. No, what's no? Oh. Playing the part Nanako. of the woods. Nanako. Nope. Nanako's dead. She's dead. Her soul is leaving her body. She has lost all the color. She is a black and white outline with despair lines behind her. I'm gonna pull her over and like set her very gently on a bench on the same cafeteria bench table as the, the other nanicos. the other nanicos and go don't you dare leave her um currently flirty nanico is talking to adventures of tony dragon 55 and one unique beast she's you know whatever crap she's like really into it and they're like into her and it's fine so meanwhile problem uh, we don't have we don't have kwame here to like put up some kind of like filter or screen so that people won't notice that there are now five nanakos sitting in the cafeteria this uh, thankfully three nanakos in the cup let's see you have what i'm going to lovingly call the bimbo nanako Love her. sure okay <laughs> we have angry nanako angry gangster nanako and Anxious mess, Nanako. Yeah, tired Nanako is not here. What about the one that was staring into the sun? That was Bimbo Nanako. Uh, okay. I love her. <laughs> yes. Uh, one Unique Beast, uh, Sam Infante, and Bl Philosophy of Barry. Uh, the three of them have all been roped into uh, Gangster Nanako's whole project. Uh, she's like building an army. They have jackets now with way too much kanji How on that them happen? that happens someone so brought fast. her a wooden someone brought her a wooden sword she is ready to fight she's a we young have, you've turned her into a yankee we have to get this sorted so that we can go get uh orpheus back what huh oh um okay uh miss wong you remember miss wong she's the new mythology teacher oh, yeah. um she told me if I go get a relic from Dr. Ash's office, it's a deck of playing cards. It comes from, oh, I forgot the name. Wait, Basmet. Ba ba uh, Egyptian god, cat head. Baset? Baset. Is that uh, actually what it is? I'm guessing, but I feel like that's what it, okay. It's, um, it, apparently he 
put the power of Basset into this deck of playing cards, and if we get this relic and take it back to Miss Wong, she will help bring Orpheus back. And I was like, yeah, of course. He'll let us he'll let us in. He trusts us. So, but we have to fix Nanako first before we can go do that. Yeah. Makes sense. Um Well, like, it would probably help if we knew exactly what caused her to split up in the first place. Yeah. Which um, Nanako would be best to interrogate? That won't pass out. Honestly, maybe the one I, I just sent to the nurse's office. Ooh. Okay. Do we uh, take them all with us to the nurse's office? Um, do we, do we I think they're, they're good here. Uh, well, honestly, wherever Linny is, they'll all show up. We figured that out. Oh. Oh, okay. Do I... Stay here. I mean, that's up to you. Are you comfortable babysitting an army of girls who are crushing on you really hard? <laughs> no, not at all. Then maybe, ah. maybe you shouldn't. Yeah, do okay. That. I like that I, idea. I think that from what I can tell, they are fairly self sufficient. I'm a little bit worried that Yankee. Uh, Nanako is going to take over at school. Um, but... She's currently in a shouting match with the foul mouth gent, uh, you know, from the linguistics club, and the bread witchery from the occult club is trying to hold, trying to stop them from getting into an altercation. It, it's getting messy. But it doesn't appear that anybody's really clocked yet that there are three of them. Maybe they can't tell. I don't know. Huh. But yeah, to the nurse's office. I think we have to risk the fact that this might get a little bit messy. Well, and like maybe if we figure out like what happened and how to fix it, then like we won't have to like gather them. Like what are the chances we're going to have to like gather them all up and put them in the same spot? Like that's great. Got to catch them all. Yeah. Not a goes. <laughs> all right. So as the three of you head towards the nurse's office, we have to, thanks to our beautiful chat, thank you all so much for this, we have our first tier unlock, which is Anime Hot Takes. So we did this during our uh, charity stream where we talked about some of our more controversial thoughts on anime. Who would like to start? <laughs> um, I don't know if I said this one last time. No, I said a different. One. I said my other one. Um, fan service is destroys my ability to watch anime because I'm just it's just so hard to be like this is a cool st and butts great. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to see that. It's like hey, don't worry, they look like they're 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 twelve, but they're seven million years old. I was like, no, I don't want to. I, nah. I I don't want to watch this. Mm -mm. I'm no, thank you. I'm no, thank I'm thirty five years old. I can't watch. I can't. So no, thank you. I'm risking a lot with this one, but I've tried to watch Cowboy Bebop three separate times, and it is boring to me. <laughs> I, it is the most boring anime I've ever seen. I'm very oh sorry. Oh my god, <laughs> that that is spicy. That is spicy. Um, you can unfollow me now. It's fine. I I refuse to watch any anime that's longer than like 50 episodes total. Like anything that goes past that, I'm I'm risking having to deal with filler bullshit and uh, wildly uh, fluctuating storylines that have no, that make no sense. So like One Piece will never be it for me or Inuyasha or any anime that you know, has a list that is like, hey, here's all the filler episodes you can skip. Yeah, I'm just like, no. I mean, I, 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 I did, uh, I did watch quite a lot of, um, oh god, what's it called? Oh man, my brain is. No, it's the it's the one where I can't even remember like specifically how to describe it, but it was really really popular back when I was in college and Inuyasha. It, was, it wasn't Inuyasha. It was um it was 
it was actually, it started off really, really well. It, it, it's the red, the orange haired, uh, kid with the big sword who gathers up dead souls. Uh, Soul eater? No. No. And then there's a Leech. young girl. Leech. Yes. Leech. Yes. Leech. I, I watched, Kubo. yeah, I watched, I watched quite a bit of Leech and then realized what it was about to turn into. And I was like, nope. And yeeted out pretty, pretty soon thereafter. But it's like, if you're, if you have more you than 50 episodes it. and a bunch of filler episodes, no, thank you. So I'm just like, I don't think those are worth my time. Time for me to give mine. <clears throat> Bakugo sucks. Hey, you take that back right no, now. Steven. No, I won't. He's terrible. Okay. He is like, if he's just mean Naruto. I gotta leave. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> I will stand by this. Just because you give him one sob episode does not redeem this character, okay? He is a jerk. But maybe that's the whole point. <laughs> the whole I agree Todoroki is, a... is better, but... He's not going to get better. <laughs> All right? He's not. We've given him a, almost 100 episodes. Dude still sucks. <laughs> Did you watch the movie? Yes, I saw the movie. I saw it in the theaters. He still sucked. No! <laughs> yes! <laughs> we figured out what the actual spicy hot take was <laughs> of this episode. I was I was going to say I like the <laughs> I like the TV ending for Evangelion, but one, Eric beat me to it, and two, not as spicy as my take on uh, Bakugo. Well, Apparently, it's not, <laughs> it's not a it's not a like or didn't like. It's it's the ending that 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 the creator wanted and the tv ending or the the movie ending is all right all right you little you, you little shits here's 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 your here's your fan service ending where i'm gonna destroy your concepts yeah listen i'm gonna go ahead and let the audience know we do have we would love to do a live watch with you guys we're not doing end of even galleon we're not doing that one okay not safe for work so uh, thank you all for that as we continue back to uh, the game proper. As the three of you arrive at the nurse's office, it is um, surprisingly spacious. The school tends to have two staff, uh, two nurses on staff, along with the doctor who visits uh, once a week, uh, mostly for students who can't get off campus who need to see a medical professional. Um, there are four beds inside this pretty sterile looking room. They have like a, here's how the human body works poster up on the wall. Um, and as you enter, who is going in first? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Manny, uh, you enter the room. The door does not open with you though. You have walked through it. Oh, Lenny right. And Dahlia, you both watch as Manny just walks through a door. Whoa. I didn't know that they had that. Uh, Lenny attempts to walk through the door and just crashes into it. You bunk a door. Ow. Okay, so is there like a way I gotta do it? Did we ever discuss our powers with each other? Well, no. Not I mean, they, you, you know my power, but. Wait. Is the door a lie? Did Mott just get rid of the door so that when Manny notices that they don't open don't know, the door and real. come in behind them, they like open the door? Huh. <laughs> uh, you coming? Yeah, Manny, you try to open the door. You can't. Oh, shoot. I want a dexterity the... roll. <laughs> okay, cool. Sure. Gosh. Okay. Gosh. Uh, two. Yeah, uh, we were. I was looking for at least a four. Uh, you take a step, and you are now about ankle deep into the floor. It doesn't hurt or anything. Oh, dang it! But as you walk through the door, you are significantly shorter. Hi. Why are you guys waiting out here? You. Uh, we. I thought this was a magic door. That like. No, I forgot to tell you. I can just walk through things now, and apparently I'm stuck in the floor. All right. Okay, uh, so you can, you're strong. You can, 
What did I get? Strong. Uh, Dahlia, go ahead and roll me strength plus five. Actually, I'm sorry, dexterity plus five. Okay. Uh, eight plus five, so 13. Cool. With a roll of 13, uh, when you go, what did I get? Uh, you all see the world ripple uh, from Dahlia's mouth as it hits the door and dents it. Oh. Oh. Did you see that? Did, did yeah. you see that? Yeah. I mean, this door is cursed. Yeah. No. What if this is another chess piece? What if we have to defeat it? That was you, Dahlia. No. No. I'm very quiet. You have, have been me. a powerful voice. Wait, okay. Both literally and figuratively. Wait, hold on. Stand back. Hold on. I want to try I, I'm okay. stuck in the floor. Yeah, Manny, I need another dexterity <laughs> roll from you. And Dahlia, I need you to roll me dexterity plus 10. <laughs> 16. That's a, that's a one, fam. Manny, <laughs> you are now... Uh, Basically, you know when you're you're basically up to your chest in floor. Uh, will somebody help me, please? <laughs> and Lenny, I need an intelligence roll from you because we have unlocked Ain't You Quirky. Uh, your powers are going a little haywire thanks to this. Thank you, chat. Uh, I got a six. Thanks, chat. Okay, on a six. Lenny, uh, actually, Dahlia, what are you thinking? Um, Did I dent the door again? Uh, no, on your roll, you shattered the windows in the hallway. Ah, I could be an opera singer. This is, this is great. This is great. I like this. Yes. And Manny, what, what are you thinking? Uh, I just want to get out of this floor. Why won't either of you help me get out of the floor? Uh, Lenny, you're hearing both of those and like a hundred other conversations all happening at once. Uh, this is such an invasion of like people's privacy or whatever in my head and I can't, I can't make it stop. Oh no. What's going on? Why are our parents acting all funky? It's like we're going through power puberty. Ah. <laughs> oh. Like Manny kind of pushes, put, <laughs> tries to put their hands on the floor, like push themselves, so, like you're oh. getting out of a pool. Like, Manny, here. Yeah, can we help Manny out? Absolutely. Oh um, as you pull them up, uh, one of the nurses comes up to the door. She opens it. What the hell happened? I don't know. I we heard this loud, like, and the door dented, and all the windows blew in. And it knocked Manny over. They were laying on the floor. We had to pull him up. Yeah, and now I'm hearing, like, things in my head. Okay, sounds like a concussion. Uh, you, she leads the three of you in, uh, puts Lenny on one bed, puts Manny on another. Under his breath, it's like, I don't think it's a concussion. I've had a couple of those. <laughs> <laughs> Surprising no one. Uh as she gets on the phone with administration, trying to figure out what exactly is going on at the school. Manny is looking around for Nanako as they walk in. Hmm. Uh, you peek behind one of the curtains and there's Nanako. She is asleep. Not All restless right. or anything, just kind of, you know. Taking a nap. Great. Mm -hmm. Just like I told her that she should. Oh, I'm so sorry about this. Nanako. Uh, oh, hey, Manny. Hi. Can you check in uh, on me? Yeah. Um, I also I wanted to ask you a couple of questions. Uh, if, yeah, what's I figured, up? I figured this version of you would be best equipped to answer them. This version of me? So we've discovered that you have been split into multiple parts of yourself, like different aspects of your personality. Three of them are currently in the cafeteria. She immediately puts the back of her hand on your forehead. I'm not- You don't feel warm. I'm not sick and I'm not making it up. I ran- One of, one of the uh, 
one of the other youths was calling Lenny Lin Lin, if that helps. Um, well, one, of them, one of them decided that Lenny and you are going on a date and then getting married and has now yeah. started to create a gang in the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. And then the other one, when we told her that Lenny had essentially been made aware of your affection toward him, uh, fainted dead away and cannot be revived and is laying on a bench in the cafeteria. We wanted to see if you might know why you've splintered into pieces? Manny. Have you been you? under? Am I what? This, uh, this all sounds kind of crazy. I, I'm sorry. I know I'm not supposed to use that word, but what are, this is a lot. And I don't really know what you're trying to say. We're worried that something has happened to you that has caused this strange phenomenon to occur. Mm. We wanted to know how you've been recently. I'm fine. I'm concerned about you and... Uh... Tell us what you've been doing for the last couple of days. Yeah. Oh, um, hey, doll, I, I, uh, I went to bed early last night, and I woke up this morning, and I went to class, and I've been tired all day. Did What did you do before you went to bed? Like Nothing. I did my homework and had a video chat with Iris. Okay. okay. And before that? I had dinner with you. What did you eat again? I had the pasta dish. Okay, and then before that? What did you dream did you about? Oh, good question. Do you have any interesting dreams? Um, not really. Uh, how about you give me a charisma roll? Me Show or Manny? Uh, both okay. of you, you're both talking to her. Um, Lenny, Why are my rolls so garbage today? Jeez. Yeah. Lenny, as you are kind of keeping, it seems like you're kind of keeping your distance from this conversation, possibly because you don't want another Nanako glomming onto you. Also, I can't shut out the voices. <laughs> yeah. Um, they are getting quieter. Thank heavens. Uh, you see a uh, kind of shock of blonde hair from behind one of the curtains. And you hear some rut, some grumbling as someone's playing on their phone. Uh, you recognize the voice as Brendan. Okay, I'm gonna go over. Hey, Brendan, what? What's up? Uh, Brendan looks up at you and, oh, that is what a concussion looks like. Huh? He has a goose egg, he has a black eye, and he looks dazed and confused. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Yeah. I've missed you. Oh. That's nice. Yeah. I, like, I'm just hanging out with you. Like, we don't, like, hang out as much. Uh, a lot of my, like, social circle involved, like, uh, practice. So, like, now that I don't have that? <laughs> yeah, you left the team, and uh, I cried a lot, and uh, you know, that's... I don't see, I feel weird every time I talk to you. Oh, that, like, hecka sucks, but, like, don't let, like, that was, like, a really brave statement to make, or whatever. Like, a lot of, a lot of people wouldn't, like, just, like, straight up say their feelings like that, and I appreciate that you're willing to share that with me. Uh, hey, my head hurts. Oh, yeah. Uh, what year is it? 2000 and X. Yep. Yeah, you definitely have a concussion. I know that. <laughs> yeah. What happened? Is this like uh, practice? Yeah. 
We were uh, running drills, and I'm not as good as you at uh, being quarterback. And I was supposed to run left, and I ran right, and I ran right into a guy's helmet, and my helmet went off, and then oh, I yeah. crashed, and he still had his helmet on, and he crashed on me, and uh, then I don't remember things, and then I woke up here, and you're standing here. Oh huh, yeah, huh. yeah. Was it? Tommy? It's a dangerous game. Oh yeah, yeah. Like like honestly, it's probably not the kind of sport children or really anyone should be playing. No, 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 no. But you were there, so I wanted to be there. And then you weren't, and then I felt weird about leaving, so I stayed. Oh. I, you know, it, you don't have to, like... There's, like... I know you're not going to, like, remember most of this or whatever. Uh, and Or maybe it'll, like, be a dream or whatever. But I'm, like... I've, I've realized in the this past year that, like, you don't have to do the things that, like, people expect of you. Like, like you're allowed to you're like your own person and you can like make make decisions or whatever uh so like if if like you're doing something because like feel like you're like supposed to like like there are no rules or whatever there's something floating uh it, yeah no no I, I hear you i just uh i uh i just miss seeing you yeah well i mean and I really wanted us to keep playing together. Well, we can like, I don't know, like do like weekend basketball or something like that, you know, like a pickup game or something. I don't know. That sounds cool. He lies back down and he's immediately out. Okay, night. <laughs> Are and you supposed to sleep if you have a concussion? Um surprisingly it, yes it doesn't yeah it doesn't actually like that's like like the old wives tale of like oh you can't go it doesn't matter that's good i'm glad he's getting some rest <laughs> <laughs> yes uh so dahlia and manny what'd you get on those charisma rolls uh two oh. eight okay. i'm struggling over here the, the dice have turned against me since that first yes. roll um, Manny, you believe Nanako completely. Uh, she's not much of a liar. Uh, Dahlia, though, you're getting a vibe. You're getting this sort of like, mm, I don't think you're lying, but I don't think you're telling the truth either. You're withholding information. Exactly. Okay. Um, well, we know that there has to be something that you did that made this happen um and so far you haven't remembered what that is so lenny is distracted right now you can just admit it to manny and i oh i didn't realize he was here and she kind of blushes and tries to fix her hair because it's a bit you know messy because she was asleep um listen i didn't i'm telling you pretty much everything I remember about yesterday. We, I went to school, we had dinner, I talked with Iris and I went to bed. Um, Can I, I tell you a secret? Yeah. I'm psychic. I can tell what people have, are, are thinking and, and, and help, help uncover things that they may not remember, I can see the truth in things. Yeah. And they're able to tell if you're telling the truth too. Okay. Um, she kind of gets out of the bed and she puts her hands on your shoulders, Dahlia, and kind of leads you towards the bed, like tries to set you down gently. Like, okay, I think both of you need to sit down I'll get you some water, maybe. I mean, I'm tired, but clearly you guys Will are you let having... me try? Okay, Humor. Manny. Okay, Manny. You can be psychic. Let me get you a bottle of water, and then you can be psychic, okay? No, I, I need oh, to know that you're really okay with that. Just consent. Yes, Manny. I'm completely okay with you being psychic. You're still my friend. Where did I put Do the this? thing. Oh, Do the thing. Okay. My art, a little help, please. 
Okay, go ahead, spend the AP. We're gonna make this uh, charisma and uh, power. Cool. <sighs> what am I doing here? Okay, and okay, decent rolls for me, but you know, my dice have been, my dice have been not happy. Just come on. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, twelve. All right, on a 12, um, you have a vision. It's kind of a dreamlike state you enter into. And you see what you think is Nanako when she's about four, maybe five years old. She is sitting in a house. It's beautiful. It's coastal. It's uh, very old looking. She's surrounded by cardboard boxes. Um, I don't believe Manny knows uh, Katakana that well, so you don't know what exactly they say, but you are able to make out the address on them. Uh, it's for a new place in San Francisco. Uh, she sits next to an open window with a uh, weird checkerboard in front of her. It's all one color, and there are small dots between each line that intersects um you hear yelling uh sounds like a teenage boy and an old man just going at it like there are fights you have with your parents and then there's what's going on here and she's kind of absent-mindedly moving pieces around this board she doesn't really know how to play but it's a good distraction right now and she picks up a piece and that's where the memory ends. And Nanako is standing in front of you, holding out a glass of water. Please drink this. I'm very worried about you. How much do you know about chess? Um, I know the horse goes in an L. It's a... Uh, Manny, I, I'm a cheerleader. I don't... It's never really been my thing. But did you ever play with your parents? Or your brother? Um, no, I mean, my brother used to play, uh, there's, the, there's a game called Shogi. Uh, they, he used to play that with my grandpa, but uh, when we moved when I was a kid, uh, well, it was a whole thing. I could tell. They had a really big fight about it, didn't they? Uh, yeah. My... Dad and my brother had a big thing, and my brother ended up living with my uncle for a minute. Oh my god, are you actually psychic? I told you I was. I don't lie. Well, I don't think you're a liar, but I am worried you guys have heat stroke. No, I'm pretty sure that's the other version of you that was staring into the sun. Please drink the water. <laughs> We're just trying to help you, Nanako. I know it sounds like what we're sound, saying sounds strange and doesn't make any sense, but we're not we're not lying to you, and we're and we're not trying to scare you. We're, we're just looking for answers so that we can help you, yeah. even if you don't realize you need help. Oh, yeah, I I believe that you guys are my friends. I'm just uh, okay. Do you need to see it to believe it? Because we can do that too. Um. I believe you, okay? I don't get it, but I believe you. What I can't figure out is how that memory is connected to you being split up into multiple parts. Well, okay. How many parts have I broken into? From what we can tell so far, four. Okay. There's you, tired Nanako. There's Nanako that's like super flirty and a, maybe, maybe, uh, and then there's, there's really nervous, scared Nanako, and then there's really aggressive, scary Nanako. Okay. Um, I feel like I've just been insulted a little bit. Um, all right. Well, Hi. if there's four of me and you brought up chess, there's only one piece that can move in four directions. Well, isn't that the queen? No. Can, um, she can move in all directions. Never mind. 
Uh, yeah. The, there's the, that and the, the and the king. No. No, the little tower one. The. The rook. The rook. That's what it's called. Yeah. I wish Kwame was here. He knows. He knows chess. Well, are you are you a rock? Uh, you poker, and she feels uh, appropriately squishy. Um, okay, not please a drink. Rook. Okay, I'm not. I'm a drinking. Rook. I'm drinking the Thank water. You. You? Thank you for drinking the water. That has nothing to do with anything. I mean, staying hydrated is important, but oh yeah, it's like heck. It's important he's ah! by. he's oh. drinking from a, a solo cup oh um hi lenny uh hey um are you seeing multiples of me as well at the moment no yeah right now it's just one of you i meant in general but okay um glad to know <laughs> Listen, if there's four of me, that means it would be a rook. And I guess if you found wherever the center was, you'd find that, maybe? Well, where would you say the center is? I mean, it is you. I mean, my bedroom? Well, that's where you woke up and maybe... Hmm... Mm. You sure you didn't have any weird dreams or drink something or eat something strange before you went to bed? Man. Did you come across any like doors that when you opened up, uh, all you saw was oblivion? Drink the water, Lenny. Oh, no, I'm good. Okay, yes. Uh, no weird doors, no weird foods. And apparently there's four of me running around. Why am I being a nurse? Will okay. you take us to your bedroom? Sure, we can go back to the dorm. Um, we should probably get the rest of you as well. Sure. But how do we get them all together again? I don't know. If only we huh. had, like, I don't know, some sort of bait or something, and we could, like, draw them all there, but I don't know what we would... Huh. You can't oh. think of exactly what we would use to draw an army of Nanakos to her room? Maybe um, uh, Lin Lin or a groom or, gosh, there's the options are limitless here. Football player, the really nice blonde football hair. Football player, and excellent. Brennan's here. No, you. Well, you were one anyway. Oh. You're the bait. You're oh, the I guess bait. that makes sense. If you're okay with that. After. Yeah, sure. Nanako is blushing aggressively so at this whole conversation. Not sure what's going on. What if we did a, a kissing booth for Lenny? Or, I mean, I feel like Nanako <laughs> just knowing that Leonard is uh, Lenny is in her bedroom would be enough. That's true. Lennox. That is your name. Uh -huh. Leonard. Oh. Yeah, I Leonard was is Leonard is the name of Aki's stepbrother. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um so it doesn't take long for the three of you and a very confused Nanako to head back to the Galana dorms. We make uh, sure to pass through the cafeteria or by the cafeteria so that they can see us heading that way. Uh -huh. So make a big yeah, show of it. It doesn't take long for the Ooh. other Nanakos to show can I, up. Can yeah, oh. can we as we're passing by, um, I'm just gonna use my telepathy to just say meet me uh in your dorm room to the three of them <laughs> as we pass by all right as the three of you head off you hear dun 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 as we have three announcements from the north point academy administrator Sure. All right, kids, it's um, time for announcements in the morning. Um, I'm glad you say back at the ones and twos. Is that what? I don't know. I'm trying to make it fun for the kids. All right, first announcement uh, we've got from Five Foot Latina. 
says, the North Point Academy Dessert Club invites all students to an ice cream social on Thursday night uh, at the Snack Shack. We've got a variety of organic, gluten-free, nut-free, uh, plus non-dairy ob- uh, options, fruit sherbet, uh, freeze-dry, you know, it's, it's like, uh, you know, I can't, I can't, okay, that's nice, I can't eat, I can't eat dairy, I, I'm getting to them, all right, um, uh, let's see, Cheap Cod Tables LLC says, do not besmirch our name, Eric. Uh, I don't know who Eric is, but uh, you have been warned. I imagine legal action will follow. And uh, Adventures of Tony. <coughs> uh, Adventures of Tony says, "Good luck on midterms." You know these kids—they got so many clips. Yay! I'm shutting it off. Hi. Hey. Thank you, North Point administrator. I don't know what to do. I, 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 I don't know what happened. I don't know where Eric went. I don't know where I went. I don't know where any of us went. It's a gift every time. It's a gift. Uh, what happened? I just woke up. Oh, boy. We're in Nanako's bedroom. You are in Nanako's bedroom, and Nanako stares mouth agape at three other hers. I told you. Oh my Do god. Do you want and some water? Lenny. Oh, oh well, Lenny already knew. <coughs> Nanako goes to her knees, still holding the cup. Okay. Leave me Do you, str- Do you need like something stronger? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> and then like I feel the the cup just becomes filled. <laughs> So airheaded Nanako immediately just clings to Lenny, uh, one of his arms, and Yankee Nanako goes for the other as anxious Nanako crawls under the bed. We're doing great. I want to take a look around the room and see if I can find anything strange. All right. uh, You are all welcome to give me an intelligence roll. And actually, so thanks to the chat, we have unlocked something that I created because I noticed we lacked sort of a sense the unseen power in this game. That's me. Apart from Manny's superpower. So, uh, for an AP point and an intelligence roll, uh, with a modifier of four, you can now sense, uh, and this is something for everyone, you can now sense divinity in your space. Cool. I rolled a five. All right. I'll spend the AP point for that. Why the heck not? So yes, this is a very simple little mechanic that I noticed uh, we were lacking. I'm glad we have some. I'm glad I could make this pretty easy. I'm still going to make it require an AP point because discovering what where the horrors are coming from is half the fun in this game. Sometimes. I'm going to use a reroll because holy crap, my Dice are garbage today. Come on. All right. That's better. Thank you. That's a 10. Okay. All right. Um, with a 10, all three of you notice there is a small rook on Nanako's desk. You um you a big fan of chess, Nanako? Uh, looking like she's praying for death to just come down and remove her from this mortal coil, from this horrible experience of seeing herself. No, Dahlia. Hang up all over, Lenny. No, Dahlia. I don't like chess. I'm a cheerleader. Where'd you get this? That's not mine. And I need everyone to roll initiative as it explodes. Pew, 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 pew. Is this rook number two? Or rook Second number three? Rook. Oh, this is rook number two. Cool. Speed plus dexterity. Six. Seven. Eight. Say eight. Uh, ten. Ten for Manny. I mean, I'm happy for you, but... Six for Lenny yeah. and seven for Dahlia. 
this is when my dice decide to roll well, and this is going to be the last time for the rest of the encounter. Just watch. You, the three of you, once it explodes into a white mist, the three of you find yourself standing on a chessboard. This time a little more literal. And you notice there are four of you. Each of you looking each of at each other confused. So, Which one are you? Uh, oh, uh, what's up? Yeah. Oh, no. I'm going to, like, point it all to... I'm going to do the Spider-Man thing. <laughs> Which one? None of you flirt with anybody. We have one man, okay? Looking like Jessica Rabbit crossed with Dahlia. Hmm, just try to stop me, sweetheart. No! No, no, that's the part that I tried to bury. Stop! Nobody look at her! Okay, we won't look. Lenny, plural, Lenny's, don't look at my Dahlia's. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, hi. Hi. I don't know what's going on. Neither do I. Well, actually, I think I do. Um, but I feel as though I'm one of those people who, no matter how many versions of me, pretty consistent. Uh huh. Cool. Except for that one. Uh, and you see a Manny that looks a little bit more. Serious. Mm, I don't know who that is. Apparently, it's one of us. I serious. Mm. <coughs> I try and never be serious about anything. Serious is bad. Mm. Serious means you care. I care immensely. <laughs> People don't need to know how much we care. You know, there's nothing wrong with caring. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's why I, uh, you know, uh, that's why I don't talk about them. Oh. I'm the you that doesn't talk. Uh, okay, well, I'm the you that is going to talk about things that we don't talk about because if we do, then it's real. And we have to feel the thing, and we don't want to do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'd like, like, super appreciate if you didn't. Oh, I would. I really wish I could, but I can't not. Like, every okay. time I do, I just think about, uh, you know, what happened. And oh, yeah. And I, I think, I th you know. Okay, how do we put ourselves brother. back together? Huh? I think we have to play the game. What? What? What game? Chess. With four rooks? 16 rooks? What position are we all standing in? You are not in any set position. Uh, there is just a horde of Lennies, a horde of Dahlias, and a multitude of Mannies. Um, alliteration. Is Nanako not here? 12. There is no Nanako. Oh, then there's only 12 of us. Cool. Yes. Well, um, uh, and in the center of this chessboard is a large tower. Um, there is only one window on it, but you feel it looking at you. <laughs> it's like, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. <laughs> uh, Manny, manifests, <laughs> Manny manifests their sword. Uh, I would love Manny to manifest their sword, but first off, it has for it has highest initiative. No, it don't. Yeah, it does. Sure. Yeah, you cool. lie. That's fine. Should we I roll our I... initiative for our other three? No. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I think that's fair. No. God, I, I don't to. need. I don't need to track four initiatives. I I have a hard enough time tracking <laughs> one. Um, and a from the window, a yellow light comes blaring out. It. Dahlia, it looks kind of like when you have to do a laser effect in a theater production. It doesn't look real, but it hits one of the Dahlias and poof, she's gone. No! 
Was it Flirty Dahlia? No. No, you could have taken the other one. It was uh, it was uh, loving cute things, Dahlia. <laughs> yes, it missed on its attack, and it uh, suddenly the floor beneath you shifts. Uh, you all feel yourself shunted forward. I need a dexterity roll from everyone, uh, and we're looking for a four. I got a two. I'm gonna reroll. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll reroll too. I got a nine. Much better. I got a one and a two. I rolled a one. All right. So my dice. Why have you forsaken me? They have just decided. Can my yeah. can me and my dahlias try to help them? Um, with this roll. I will say you. We were looking for a four, and you got a nine. That's more than double. I will say you will be able to help one of your friends from falling over. I'm gonna help Manny because Dolly is just gonna assume Lenny is agile enough. So, He's an athlete. That's yeah. a fair. That's a fair assumption. That would be a very fair assumption. Yeah, I'm like yeah. he's he's trained for most of his career. So yes. Okay. So, um, Manny, you feel the world shift beneath you, but uh, this shockingly like. Sultry Dahlia catches you. Uh, Wait, not that one. Thank you. Mm, you're very welcome. Uh, For some reason, she sounds like Mae West. Manny feels deeply uncomfortable. <laughs> we all do. But it is now Manny's turn. And Manny did not fail the dexterity roll. So Manny will... You take no negatives here. A sword. I want my sword. You have your sword. I would like to move forward and strike the rook with my sword. Okay, roll to hit. Strength and power plus two. Plus two. This is my roll, this is my roll. I need to remember what dice I roll, cause I can never remember. Wee! Here we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, 15. That hits. Cool. All right, roll your damage. Same roll, minus two. Uh, eight. eight okay. Damage. Oh, you do a number on this thing. Uh, let's see. If this is supposed to be an exercise in embracing every part of ourselves, fine. But that's not how this works. <laughs> you slice at the tower. Um. It is like hitting concrete, but when you do, you realize it's very soft rock. Uh, it's not meant to take that much damage. Um, so, nice. Next up is Dahlia. So, am I? I'm controlling all three Dahlias. Um, as or much as you can control yourself. Okay. Um, I'd like to call on Persephone to. Uh, grow vines up over the window that's shining light down on all of us oh, to cover yeah. the, the light. Okay, yeah. Um, go ahead and give me a range and intelligence roll. Let's see if you can uh, give it a condition. Uh, 13? 13. Uh, that's not going to hit its initiative for damage. Uh, but, but you, oh, you weren't you weren't trying to do damage. You were trying to do a condition. Yeah. So, all right, that gives it blinded six. All right. So, if it rolls a six or below, I will drop its dice below. Cool. All right, Lenny, uh, you fell, and I am going to give you options. You can either take damage, or uh, taking negative to your roll. I'll take the damage. All right. <laughs> take 24 damage. Uh, you take eight. Okay. Okay. You take eight as you fall and then continue to skid as you realize the floor is literally moving. Static object, oh. moving object, friction. That was like heck of painful. Yeah. Um, He's going, Lenny is going to basically charge for, like, he's going to, like, run at the tower, jump, 
uh, turn into water and then like be like a crashing way and just do like a ranged uh, like his 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 magic attack and just be like a crashing wave of water. That sounds like a pretty standard magician hit to me. So go ahead. I believe that is your uh, intelligence and range. Oh, intelligence range. Thank you for correcting yes. me. Uh, ooh, I'm I'm I, I'm gonna use another reroll. I know we got we got a few. So I feel like I feel confident in like wanting to do something good. Six. No, that is- seven. <laughs> Seven total? Oh, that yeah. does not work. Uh, we are also out of rerolls for the rest of the session. What? I, I thought sorry. we had I thought we had five. You got four. Oh. One per player. Okay. Well, then I, just a crashing water hits a big old stone tower and does nothing. And you just hear, oh, oh snap, oh, snap, oh, snap. Oh, snap. And Lenny, as oh. you land. You see, uh, Kid Letty. Oh, hello, man. Uh, hi. Hey, are we still alone? Um, I mean, like, I mean, it's like, you know, kind of, but like, we're like we're like working on ourselves or whatever, you know. We were like we we found like we found our tribe, I guess. So that's that's cool. Oh. Do we have friends now? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Like I mean it's not it's not the same, you know, or whatever. Um I will say, like, um, I don't know if you, you like need this advice, but anyone tells you like it gets better is is lying to you. It doesn't get better; it just gets easier or whatever. But yeah, I mean, it's it's easier now. Oh, uh, cool. And with that, we move to the top of the order. And just a quick reminder to our chat: we are ten subs away from our twenty-five sub goal of the episode. Uh, where we will do a blind react to popular anime such as uh, B Star Season Two, Skate the Infinity, and more. So uh, throwing that one out there, and we are uh, ninety nine dollars away from Gundam, where we will do a bonus episode of New Pantheon Academia with the Mech RPG Lancer. So throwing that one out there. Deep down, I really just want to play Evangelion. I just want that. So. At the top of the order, the multiple tower is going to strike out at Lenny because you were, well, you struck first. Yeah, I'm kind of like at the base of it. You know. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. And we got an eight. Uh, that will hit Lenny. Ah! So Lenny, go ahead and roll your defense as I rolled its damage. Two. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Uh, okay, you are going to take six damage as this yellow laser hits you in the back. And suddenly, there's another Lenny. This one is wearing uh, boat shoes, uh, khaki shorts, a tucked-in polo shirt. He's got a sweater around his neck. Oh. Oh. Sup? Sup? Hey. You're like, uh, I know which one you are. Yeah. Uh, the, the the one dad wants? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean. The, he doesn't well, want any of us, but. Yeah. He, 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 we know he wants Quentin, but, you know. Yeah. We do, too. Yeah. I mean. Anyways, I'm like in a fight right now. <laughs> Oh. All right. Um, so, Manny, it's your turn. You are unaware of your friend go- processing trauma and being multiplied. This is fine. I'm going to take another stab at the at the. Make a stab. The Do a stab. Rook is going to feel feel my wrath and and truly uh, be stricken with terror by me. Ha cha. 
Uh, oh man, really it's 17. Whoa, okay, yeah, roll your damage. Uh, not as good, eight. All right, um, you chip at it. Uh, it seems to be prepared for it though, and you do significantly less damage than last time. Why won't you die? Why won't you die? And why right, will many of you help? <laughs> Where? Uh, most of them, one of them has like a flower sticking out of their head and they just have like big blank cartoon eyes. What? I'm not that dumb. <laughs> Dahlia, you're up next. Um, I think, okay. Dahlia is going to pull out a bunch of uh, like spears made of foliage and it's similar to her sword, but just spears. living spears. Yeah. And uh, she's going to hand one to each of her dahlias <laughs> and then coordinate attack where they all throw a spear at the same time. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm going to give you a plus two for this. Okay. Go ahead and make the magician hit of intelligence range. Minus got two. It, got it. So I guess it would just be intelligence range because I give you the plus two. So. Yes. Uh, that's a D8 and a D12. 15? That hits. Yes. Roll damage. And then int range. Oh, oof. Uh, 10 damage. Okay. Uh, it rolled really bad defense. Uh, it, the tower begins to crack and, uh, suddenly storm clouds appear overhead and lightning begins to strike around the board. You hear thunder as well. Um, next up is Lenny. Um, seeing Dahlia, like, coordinate attacks, I'm gonna go, huh, that's like a heck of a smart idea. Uh, so... Lenny is going to get the other Lenny's. We're just going to go to one side of this thing and just like uh, like grab the stone at its base and just kind of like use our like maybe even using like our like like water to push ourselves up and just try and like knock this like lift this tower out or like knock it over or something. OK, uh, go ahead and give me strength power, strength, power, S strength and then power. Boop. Uh, yeah, that uh, uh, thirteen. That's not gonna hit. Ugh. So the Lennies all work together, and it's just not working. Um, it's like heck of heavy, you know? Yeah, yeah, it definitely, yeah is. Definitely, yeah, is. definitely is. Definitely is. I love that they're slightly off from each other. Like yeah. they can't all speak at the same time. No, no. All right, next up, it's the tower. It's going to go after Lenny again because he is the closest. All right. Rolling to hit. Oh, that's a crit fail. Uh, all right, on a crit fail, Lenny, go ahead and roll your attack again. Boop. Um, less than the last roll. Darn, okay. Um, yeah. Eight. Yeah, eight. It tries to shoot. It goes wide. It gives you an opportunity, and the Lennies just can't pull it together. The Mannies, however, we have faith in Mannies. Oh, you're muted. <laughs> Manny has realized that perhaps the the other parts of them uh, are are let's see are better as a perimeter to make sure that this rook does not leave. So like they're all, they're all readying their swords in the event of an, an, an attempt to escape, but Manny is just going to keep ripping into them. Just being like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, Roll the I think, let's see how we do. Ah, beans. Eight. Mm, that's not going to hit. No. Uh, Manny, you attempt to swing at it, and the world just shifts to the left. And as you complete your swing, you realize you are swinging in air. Ah! Dahlia, it's your turn. Um, I'm going to... There's thunderstorms happening right now, yeah? 
Yes. I'd like to get a canopy over top of us so that none of us can get struck by lightning. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Mel Pamino, thank you very much for the tip. Thank you. I guess thank we're getting you, our Gundam Pamino. episode. Yay. Okay. Uh, yes, we will be, uh, I will be working with the team to schedule that. We will be doing Gundam. Uh, all right. New Pantheon Gundams. It's happening. <laughs> Dahlia has absolutely no knowledge on Gundams or robots at all, so that's going to be incredible. Don't worry about it. Which one of our team is the actual person who has that knowledge? I'm curious. All right, so Dahlia, go ahead and roll me a... Uh, we'll make it uh, defense and uh, charisma. Defense. And don't forget, you're spending your AP point every time you're using Persephone's power. 16. 16, that is fantastic. Okay, so I will give all of you shield eight. So basically, uh, he'll have to roll your initiative and also beat it by eight. So it's going to be very hard for him to hit anything. All right, Dahlia, as you put up this protective barrier and you feel like, oh, this is good. Uh, Lenny, it's your turn. All right. Um, I like my idea. I just don't think... It I have the strength to lift. But then I remember uh, from history, the thing about the Leaning Tower of Pisa is not that someone lifted it. It's that the, the ground is is too too viscous for the tower. So I'm just... So you see Lenny, the Lennies, look at each other, nod, and they just, like, stick their hands into the ground and just try and, like, force water and, like, moisture into the ground to, like, loosen up that. the ground. Oh, that is smart. Go ahead and roll me. Uh, give me intelligence power. Yes. Okay, that was a smart move. Intelligence power. Um, yeah, and the dice seem to agree because that's a 17. That hits. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll me uh, the normal attack for a magician. Okay. That would Double be. range plus two. Yeah. Uh, so that is going to be seven. Okay. Um, tell me how you kill this thing. Um, the, the Lenny's gather around and they just like force water. And then you just see this, this thing just start to lean and lean. And then it just collapses like the tower of Sauron. And then as it's like past the point of no return, it just like the, the top of it explodes outward. <laughs> Yes. Uh, the top of it explodes outward just as the lightning strikes it, breaking it in two. Um, and with that, uh, you all feel a gust of wind blowing you backwards, and soon you are standing in Nanako's dorm room. Nanako sits on her bed, uh, drinking a cup of water. Uh, oh, um, hey, you guys came to check in on me? Yeah. How, how long have we been gone? Um, I don't know. You guys just arrived. <laughs> yeah, how? we we were just all concerned because none of you us had seen you today. Oh, that's sweet. Um, I'm fine. You know, I I think I might have caught uh, Kwame's cold. I wore a mask. I washed my hands, but sometimes it just happens. So you haven't seen us until this moment. Um, Sorry, I'm. I think I might have caught Kwame's cold too. My oh, brain is fuzzy. Oh, well, if you want, I'll bring you by some Dayquil tomorrow. Uh, no, I got lunch with Manny, and uh, they told me to go to the nurse's office, and I did. And she told me to just kind of take a chill pill in my room. Okay. Well, uh, that all checks out or whatever. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll let you rest. Oh. Thanks. Um, hey, Lenny, could you uh, stay back a second? Uh, uh, yeah. Lenny hears from Manny's brain very, very loud because they want to make sure he hears it. Be nice to her. 
I always am. Um, she gives Manny a, kind of like a wish me luck look as uh, Manny and Dahlia leave the room. Um, look, Lenny, I'm uh, I'm not stupid. I uh, know you probably know I'm a terrible actress. Um, I've had a crush on you since we first started here in the dorm. Yeah, I, uh, I, I mean, I, yeah, yeah. I know you. I I know you know. Um, I don't know why I finally found it in me to tell you. Maybe it's just because I had a weird dream. I don't even. Do you own a motorcycle, by the way? Uh, no. Yeah, me neither. I just have the weirdest thing about a motorcycle. And anyway, um, I like you a lot. And you don't, I don't know if that's ever going to happen. And if, if you want to go on a date, that'd be great. I like that. But if not, I, um, I understand. I just want to say it because I want us to be friends and friends tell each other the truth. Oh, no, I, I heck I appreciate it or whatever. Yeah. Um, I'm like, like I'm a mess, like mentally, like I know I, 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 I don't show it, but like, I'm a mess, but also like, you know, sure. Sure. Yeah. I mean, oh wait, no. My friend told me don't say sure because sure means you're not. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like, sure. Yeah. Or yeah. Okay. Um, maybe when I'm feeling better, we could grab coffee or something. Yeah. Uh, that sounds great. I know a place in town that like does like good coffee. Cool. Anyway, I, I might still be contagious. You should, you should, you know. Yeah, no problem. All right, feel better. Thanks, Lenny. She closes the door and sinks to the floor as you leave, amazed with herself, as the three of you stand in the hallway. How'd it go? What'd she want to talk about? Oh. Uh, she finally asked me out. Wait, what? Yeah. And what did you say? I mean, I said, yeah. That's <gasps> cool. Wait, maybe we could go on a double date because I have a date coming up with Spiro and you have a date coming up with Monica. I'm going to be honest. I think that that's, that's, that's like not a good idea. Like if we're trying to get to know someone and see compatibility, that uh, that 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 sounds like you're like, and I'm not trying to like say it. It sounds like you're nervous about what your thing's gonna be, and you want some backup. And I'm gonna tell you, you don't need it. You really don't. Maybe I feel to... like an open book right now. <laughs> um. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Maybe it's a sign that we've all gotten to know each other better. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Eventually, I mean, we can do a double date. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But that's, it's not like a good idea for a first date, I found. How many you dates found? have you been on? Oh, yeah. I go on a lot of dates. I usually wait for the girl to ask me, though, because, you know. Any particular reason why? No, I, I just don't have to try very hard. Okay, uh, that was, it was really sweet up until that moment. For a moment. For a moment. <laughs> hey, you might want to consider that, like, while it is very progressive of you to allow women to take the onus upon themselves, maybe you could put a few of them out of their misery by doing the, 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 the work, the, the, the little bit of work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just because you don't sense. have to try doesn't mean you shouldn't. Yeah, especially no, I, if there's somebody you really like. Oh, yeah. I guess, like, 
right now, mentally, uh, my head's all over the place, so I don't think about that much. If your head's all over the place, do you really have room in your life for dating? Like, I don't want to, like, take away, you know, Nanako's opportunity to go on a Honestly, date. I have no idea. Huh. All right. Cool. But, you know, well, I don't want to therapize you because that's not my job, but you should probably talk to someone. Yeah, you're not Diane. You have a therapist? Yeah. That's good. Talk to her. How often do you go? Uh, we've only been doing it for like a short time, like uh, four months. Oh. Wow. Uh, go Lenny. Surprise every day. That's crazy. Okay. Well, you have a date and you have a date. Cool. Looks like things are uh, going well on that on that thing. You want to know what I still don't have? Mm. Uh, the other pieces of the prom court's paraphernalia. Regalia. That's the word for it. And as you mentioned that, the elevator doors open and you see Piotr, the large Russian bear uh, in his ballet tights. He looks very good. Uh, with Betty. And they are racing towards you. They are climbing over each other. Manny! Manny! No. Huh? Stay away! Stay away! No, no. no. I, I, huh? I need Manny first. No! no. no. Hey, huh? Manny, no. Friend first. I was your friend first. See? Friend. What? Call him friend. What's going on? What do you want? We... We decided... No, I'm gonna tell... I'm gonna tell them. No, you do not tell anyone anything, you weak little... Oh, I'm weak now. Okay. All right. <laughs> Fighting with each other. I'm gonna. If they're, if they're, I'm gonna literally like pull them apart from each other. I'm like, all right. I don't. I don't think that this is the time or space for for this. Uh, so, and it's definitely not constructive. Yeah. Mm. You are lucky. You are handsome. Otherwise, I'd slap you. Huh. A lot of people tell me that. Yeah. You were saying. One at a time, please. Okay. I tell them. Ben, tell me idea you have of uh, Alice in Wonderland from... Yeah. Yeah? I propose it. Uh, I propose it. Shut up. You could say we, the word we. Yeah. We propose that we will be going with that theme. Great. Wanted like. to tell you good news. Cool. The The color scheme should be black, white, and red. Just so you know. Black, white, and red. Okay. We we talk about color scheme later. You're Alice, full of what? good ideas. You you might be president material. Okay. And with that laid out, and Lenny revealed a little bit more, and Dahlia also revealed a little bit more, and given an opportunity to possibly get Orpheus back, that is where we are going to call this episode of New Pantheon Academia. Pew, pew, my, pew. Pew. my name is Stephen Pope. You can find me online at Stephen Pope 101 on TikTok. Still don't have a Twitter. Fuck TERFs. I don't care. Um... I'll figure out some way to get in contact. Maybe I'll take up Friendster. That's around. I'm sure that's a thing. <laughs> uh, otherwise, you can catch me here every Sunday for the Pantheon Academia. And you can catch me next week on, uh, God. Albert Soup. Albert Soup. Yes, I just couldn't remember the uh, the time it was going to be on. But I'm very Two excited. Two o'clock. Two o'clock. Thank you, Aki. I cannot explain how much I would be dead without you in my life. <laughs> it just—it yeah. helps that I was—I was on that show just right before this. Know, I know, I know. Yes, you can catch me on Albert Soup very soon here on Saving Throw Show. Should be very fun. Uh, Aki, where can they find you? Hey, everybody. I'm Aki. You can find me over on Twitter at Mix Genie in a Bottle. That's M X G I N I I N A B O T T L E, and my entire streaming schedule is over on my personal Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Shidari Aki. That's S-H-I-D-A-R-E-A-K-I. Um, I'm I'm not up to anything particularly special. All of my regular 
streams are going on right now. Um, uh, my Roll20 stream on Monday afternoons is currently on hiatus until we start up our next thing. Um, but you can catch us doing uh, Star Wars on Fridays in the afternoon at 1. That's a lot of fun. I play uh, a Chiss, um, who's uh, also a teenager, 18-year-old Chiss, who is a... Uh, is very explorative and and loves to learn new things i love it uh mika where can they find you hi you can find me on any social media site at rip mika um i stream on twitch monday through friday at varying times so if you want to get that stream schedule it's either on my twitch page or on my discord and this is my weekly show i do have another weekly show starting up this Saturday, it's um, a fan-based Harry Potter role play that does not support J.K. Rowling. And As stated, also fuck turfs. says, fuck turfs. Um, and I believe we are benefiting uh, some trans stuff while we're playing as well. Oh, I'll have yeah. to get exact details. But yeah, you can find that Saturday on Stories Told Twitch channel. Oh, that's great. And mostly Eric, where can they find you? Well, they can find me mostly Eric on all the places, including Twitch, uh, where I stream uh, video games. We're currently playing through Disco Elysium, which I am in love with. The final cut. Mm -hmm. I've heard really good things about that game. It's never so it. amazing. It's so it, now's the time. I've they sent me. They sent Ooh. me a sweatshirt. Really? That just says "fuck the world." <laughs> nice. I mean, oh, yeah. if that's not a mood. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm neck deep in Monster Hunter right now, so. Yeah, maybe we'll start huh. streaming that. I should start streaming. Uh, all right. Make sure to come back tomorrow at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for an all-new The Broken Pact with special guest Gil Ramirez, a.k.a. Gil the Vlogsmith. Uh, my the Broken Pact is an amazing show. It has some of my favorite people on it. You should definitely check it out. And as we leave, we have one more announcement from the North Point Academy Administrator. Mm -hmm. One more before the end of the school day. This one's from uh, Mel Mel Plan. No, Mel Plan. I, I can't. Mel Pomeno. Mel Pomeno. Thank you. Mel Pomeno says, "Is I like big butts and I cannot lie." <laughs> He got me. I was in. I was enjoying my coffee, but fine. All right, that's announcements. <laughs> and with that, everyone, thank you for tuning in. We will see you next week. Bye.